Here we are, everyone. We made it to the streets of New Capenna. Or as it seems to me is the streets of like future Alara almost. The way that the uh, color cycle is here. Um, <clears throat> although they are rebranded, they do still seem to be very Bant and Esper and so on and so forth. But I love it. I love the uh, the gangster style of this. I'm kind of into it. So let's check out our box topper here. And as right, okay, let's let's totally bend it up while we rip the glue off of there. Jeez, super glue. All right, I guess it's technically double-sided tape. Gala greeters, elf druid, nice and shiny box topper style. Um, let's go ahead and let's scan it up. Let's see, we got uh, the old scanneroo there, ready to go. And see how I do on my my set booster box. I can't even open this one pack right here. Am I opening the wrong side? Am I just a like Flintstone fingered buffoon? Here we go, Gala greeters. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the valet service here at the Capenna, um, you know, function or whatever. Sixty cents. The buy a box promo. There's probably a lot of these floating around. Here we go. So, what uh, gang are you in? Um, I, I like the brokers. I'm a Bant kind of player, I think. Um, to be honest here, um, I don't know exactly how uh, this would line up with like Bant mechanics. Um, somewhat similarly, I know they're trying to be a little bit um, creative with the way like certain colors can do things. But anyway, you're not here for that. You're here to see what I get out of these packs. So let's pull them out. And open them up and see how I do. Yep, here we go. New component. Are they side openers? Yes, they are. Let's see if I can actually make those work for a change. We got an art card, which is upside down. It's odd. Ah, there's the uh, the foil um, embossed or not embossed. It's signed. Uh, someone's having therapy from a cat there. That's pretty interesting. Fabine, the boss's confidant from Ryan, Ryan Pancoast. And let's see if that will scan up in the scanner. Early days on sets like this, the scanner probably may not know the art card there, but maybe a card like that is a buck or so. Full art land uh, for this set is basically like, it's, since it's a giant cityscape, I don't know if like the whole planet of Capenna is supposed to be like a city like Ravnica is. Or if, like, like I was kind of saying, like it feels like this is a Lara and this is just like one city on a Lara or something like that. Um, but as far as like lands go, being like part of a building, I got no problem with that. I, I like that aspect of Ravnica, where the land is like a building or like you know the city gate or just like a walkway or something like that. So I have zero problem with this being like a creepy, like flooded out old shopping mall. Um, so that's fun to me. So. 57 cents for a full art swamp right there. Let's get on camera here. We got some commons and we got a lot to go through. So we're gonna kind of skip ahead to, well these are set boosters so you don't get a whole lot of commons. Here we go. I don't know what's good for uncommon so I'm mostly gonna kind of skip those. We got an agent, we got a showcase. Uh, I like the showcase style, that's cool. Yeah, and I guess you can get these in the gold embossed and that's the hotness for these. We got Lagrella the Magpie, Obnixilis the Adversary, right off the bat. I believe this is a pretty decent card right here. Good old Obby, Legendary Planeswalker, make, making copies, right? Let's see how he is for the showcase version. Yeah, Blazing Effigy, great job, Scanner, as usual. Obnixilis the Adversary Showcase, $40. Now that's what I'm talking about right out of the, the gate here. That was worth the price of admission for you guys watching this, right? Sure. Sure thing, Tragic. Whatever you say. All right, let's make some little piles here. Got a Black Market Tycoon. 40 cents, no big deal. We'll make a 40 cents, no big deal pile. And we'll make a big deal pile. And then this pile is not even a pile. It's falling apart. Broker's Hideout in foil. Very cool. So just kind of like a pseudo evolving wilds there with a little bit of extra flavor. Um, I don't think, yeah, they're not worth a, a whole lot. I imagine even a foil is not going to rate much. 
and a strictly better mini game. Someday I'm gonna get around to messing with these mini games. And by someday I mean like when I'm in the old folks' home, when I have actual time in my life to actually play Magic. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's the, uh, the just the planes, the Art Deco, Electro Deco. So hold on, is that literally created by some kind of like AI algorithm named Electro Deco that can deco out? Um, like a, a city skyline. Maybe I'm maybe I'm overreaching. I don't know what that is. All right, we got a prize fight. Raccoon punches a rhinoceros. Of course he does. Got the magpie, the swindler. I like the old swindler art better. I'm not gonna lie. Why would I lie about that? Would I literally sit here and just say that I like this one when I don't mean that? No. We got a shattered seraph. A maestro's charm. So are the charms any good? I mean, price-wise, not too nothing to write home about. We got towers and errant street artist. Let's take a look at that. Forty-five cents. Revelation of power, and some punch-out tokens with this. Oh, shield tokens. That's cool. I do like the idea of the uh, like keywords can become tokens to just put onto a creature. It seems like a very alchemy thing to think about, right? Oh gosh. Sad. All right, here we go. Pick of the pace. We got this very nice watercolor painting of a lady. The four planes. The big score. We got a whack and a crew captain. I like the style. I think that's cool. I got no problem with that. Cut your losses. That's interesting. Casualty two. Target player mills half their library. That seems like it would be a problem for that player. Fifty cents. Cabaretti charm and foil. Um, I don't know. Again, are the are the are the uh, are the charms anything? And I can't get the foil to to scan. It probably isn't. So we're mainly looking for the mythics here, right? And the uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep calling them triumphs because um, that's what they are. But uh, the lands out of this cycle are gonna be worth a little bit. So that's just Jetmir's Garden. So that's one of those triumphs. You guys know. You know by now. Hypnotic Grifter. Psychic Pickpocket. Brazen Upstart. Scheming Fence. And Mr. Orfero the Boulder. <laughs> Mr. Orfero is a legendary rhino warrior. And he's an uncommon. 24 cents. The foil. Probably not a whole lot more. Traverse the Outland. So I'm hearing good things about the list. Uh, this time around, I've, I've complained in the fa in the past about the fact that there's a lot of commons and uncommons on the list that nobody cares about, right? So here's a rare at least. Search your library for up to X basic land cards where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. Put those cards onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. So super ramp after you've ramped into this. 949, excellent. Let's see if the list version is... Available 498 solid. We'll put it into the um, slightly better than not solid pile. There it is. I'm just making new piles over here. Thanks for putting up with my nonsense here, guys. I do appreciate it. Scam likely. I'm not going to answer that. Here we go. Uh, what are these guys doing? They're dying. Make an example. Yeah. The mob is just on fire there. Yeah, look at this. Look at this mountain that is so metal it's just like the the spires of industry there very cool i like it should i scan the full art mountain at least and check it is none of those you guys know that this thing likes to give me flooded strands all the time it's not an onslaught planes it's not a breeding pit <laughs> mountain from new Capanna, 30 cents great awesome Back to our regularly scheduled program here. Cormella, Glamour Thief. I like it. That's some pretty good uh, showcase art there. Botanical Plaza and Evelyn the Covetous is 45 cents. That's great. Ogre Warrior. He looks like a total mook. Okay, come on. Pax. Some Sphinx action. Suspicious bookcase. Oh yeah, I like these little fish. They're funny. The exotic pets. 
Cabaret Charm, Mysterious Limousine. So vehicles are back and they seem to be pretty well thought out from what I can gather. So that one's only 35 cents, but maybe it'll see some play. Got a Corrupt Official. Great. What do you guys think about this set? Every, every time a new set comes out, I hear stuff like, oh, the power levels are off and oh, I don't like the flavor, but it's all opinion. So what is your opinion? Throw it down below. Tell me all about it. What do you guys think? Don't hold back. Fatal Grudge. Errant Street Artist. So this is the showcase or alternate. I can't keep track of what we're going to call it. That's a showcase. Incandescent Aria. Mass Bandits. Uh, I'm never going to turn down some some raccoon thievery, dude. Some, some rogues there. Oh, that's great. These guys, family's favor. Nice, nice island. Yeah, it's like Venice. Got a little waterway there. 50 cents for now. There's going to be a lot of these out there. Pugilist. Wave waterfront. Angel of Suffering. Here we go with a mythic. Flying, if damage will be dealt to you, prevent that damage and mill twice that many cards. Yeah, that could work in some strategies and protect you. It's a buck fifty. Grizzly Sigil. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Good art. One thing that's just like on, on magic cards, the, the art actually ends up being really small. Sometimes I just want to enjoy it. Hey, ask and you shall receive. There's a little bit bigger art for you to look at. Daring Escape. Warm Welcome. The Social Climber. Yeah, I, I like the flavor of this set. Charm. Undercover operative, shapeshifter rogue, just a little bit there, a little bit, Joey. Strictly better again. Misfortune teller. So she's not going to give you your fortune. Is that what it is? Seems like it would be a problem. Kamiz Obscura Oculus, a mythic from Commander New Capanna, I guess. It's the the newest. Uh, so it's not a list. In fact, here's a list card coming up. We'll see what that is. So this would be the slot where it they call it the ancillary slot or something. I don't know, whatever. Kamiz is a couple bucks. There we go. And here's a triumph, the proving ground. Uh, the Jund the Jund Triumph, I would call it. I don't know. And let's see how much that one is. Not 25 cents. It's 8.31. There we go. That's good. And we got a coveted jewel. Another commander card reprint there. Winner's Battlefield draw three cards. Add three mana of any one color. You had to pay six for this, though. Whenever one or more creatures you or an opponent controls attack you and aren't blocked, that player draws three cards and gains control of coveted jewel. Untap it. Ah, you can send that all around the table. And do some shenanigans with it. It's actually going to go into that pile. Alright. That's a third of our boosters right there. Are we going to break even on this? Kind of looks like it. The Obnixilis helps with that. Obscure Charm. Some Lackeys. Uh, the Libation. The Charm. I haven't seen any of these gilded yet. Quiza. Horde Hauler. And, hey, there we go. There's a gilded one. Gilded Glamorous Outlaw. It's just a, uh, a foil. Was it? Hold on. Is this gilded or is this just foil? I can't tell. I don't know. I don't think it's a gilded one. I think it's just a foil showcase. Well, that's going to be confusing. Gosh. So, uh, how many different versions are there of this? There's a showcase, which would have a foil version, which is what this would be. And it's, you know, 36 cents, no big deal. But there is a gilded foil version. And how the heck would you know? I think what you would see is that the, you know, the gold on the border stands on top of the foil. Boy, that's going to be tough. All right, here we go, wizards. And your million different styles of stuff. You got to kind of make them different, right? Wernog, Writer's Chaplain. What is this from SLX? The list. But it doesn't have a list mark though. 
Secret Lair. Oh, okay. Secret Lair drop. Oh, gosh. This is the one with the, the Stranger Things kid. Will the Wise. Um, yeah, we can just forget all that. But... The list version, yep, yeah, doesn't have the little list mark. That's interesting. But there it is. Warnog, Writer's Chaplain, does the same thing as Will the Wise, apparently. And it's a whole 97 cents. We'll put it there. So, the Stranger Things one has creatures that are alternate to that but I think it's the walking dead ones that are kind of unique right and that was an uproar I guess sanctuary warden got a bunch of hideouts here the muscle glamorous outlaw sanctuary warden so that's the, the archer I just pulled it's a mythic for six it's a five five flyer enters the battlefield with two shield counters on it whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks. You may remove a counter from a creature or planes you control. If you do, draw a card and create a 1 1 green and white citizen creature token. Man, the token's not too uh, exciting to me, but the card is pretty good, right? There we go. Oops. Nice. Penzi Toolbox Tory. That's great. I love the, uh, I love the flavor of this set. Beat down the magpie, void rend, and a foil triome. There we go. 229. Jetmere's garden in foil. Can it scan it? Yeah, eight bucks for the regular. Multiplier of like nothing. 849. That's fine. We'll throw that over there. Standard players don't really want foil cars that much, really, do they? They just want to play cheap. So they just want the cheapest version, pretty much, right? Soul of Emancipation. 30 cents, and we got a list card. Cavalier of Night, very nice. Yeah, that's cool. I love the Cavaliers from M20. The uh, Cavalier of Thorns is, like, spiking right now. Cavalier of Night couple bucks for that one the list it's a buck that's fine I'll take it does I'm, I'm happy to see that it's not just some commons from like Odyssey that nobody asked for right fleet foot dancer or from like m21 that nobody asked for Judicators boxing ring all right and a workshop war chief And a Safina Spear Sage Deserter, 94 cents. So, I don't know. Some of these rares may break out over the course of the next few weeks here when people start playing them and seeing what they can do, right? Or maybe they won't. Gardener. Got the Charms. Cemetery Tampering. Just a little bit. Freelance muscle. All right. Oh, yeah, that's the uh, Mythic Blade. Will we get lucky enough to get that thing? Fabian, Boss is Confident. Okay, so that was from Commander Capenna. And Depopulate. A couple bucks there. Depopulate is not the extended art it's not wrong that's okay just regular well actually the regular version is pretty good four bucks wait it's not a foil it's a pre-release never mind hold on 50 cents back to normal can't expect a whole lot from that right seems like there's very few of these rares that are actually more than 50 cents it's all about those triumphs. Rocco. Zaya Torres Envoy. Yep, nope. That's okay. Who's this guy? Meeting of the five. Oh, it's not just one guy, it's five guys. 
making some burgers. Maestro's ascendancy, so will the ascendancies rate a little bit higher? 46 cents. I got a bonus icy manipulator out of the deal. That's great. Nice Avon uh, bartender there. Uh, nice foil island. That's cool. Um, it did scan it. Let's see if the foils are anything. Not really. I'm going to pull that one. And for rares, we got a Rego Streetwise Mentor and a Fight Rigging. Nope, nothing big there. We got a Doggo. Let's go to the next pack here. Got a lizard. Unlicensed hearse. <laughs> Seems like an odd job for an unlicensed vehicle to have. Not extended, not pre-release. Regular, not foil. A dollar. <laughs> All right, Agnes the Dragon's Lash and foil and a Hargildi secret lair. Agnes and foil. Yeah, I might not even bother to try to like set the foils anymore. Hargild. So what secret lair is this from? Kindly Rune Chanter. It was Dustin from Stranger Things. There he is. Kind of odd. The list. I, I would say, as a Magic fan, I'd rather have this card in a more um, fantasy setting than the Stranger Things, you know, current day almost style. Yeah, I, I think there's probably a lot of people that would agree with me. Sphinx, Planes, Commons, Uncommons, Bootlegger Stash. Hey, there's a good mythic right there, I believe. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I can tell now for sure that that is a gilded rare or uh, a foil. That, okay, that does stand out to me quite a bit. The Bootlegger Stash, 25 bucks. Very nice. Five and a green. Lands you control have create a treasure token. Just a no brainer for ramp. You just ramp to this, and then you've got even more ramp. You do the whole exhibit meme. Yo, dog, I heard you like ramp. But Soul of Emancipation, uh, maybe not the, the biggest card. I don't know, but it sure looks nice. Yeah, the Gilded Foil looks nice. It's not embossed enough to where you could feel it and have it be marked for non-tournament play or anything. I imagine they would have thought that through. Soul of Emancipation, we only got one. It is the gilded foil version, and it is two bucks. So, yeah, it, it does look cool. Uh, much better than the etched foil um, that they've been doing the last year or so. So, yeah, okay, I'm a fan of the gilded foil. We'll take it. So, if you got a gilded foil of an actual good card, maybe it's going to trend nice and high. Hopefully we'll get to find out. So far, that's the only one we've gotten. Do you get like one per box, maybe? Check back with me while I open my collector's box next. And we'll see. Maybe I'll get more. Corpse Explosion. 47 cents. Uh, it doesn't look like a corpse is exploding there. Just like a regular explosion. The informant looks cool in foil. There's Zayatora, of course. Body dropper. That's good. It's all just like mooks and bouncers and guys working on buildings and informants. I love it. Toulouse. Brokers. And even dudes in a three-piece suit. I'm here for it. That's a cool looking Art Deco Mountain. Rocco 
Riveter's Ascendancy. 50 cents. Uh, nope, this one goes here. Pros. Tenuous truce and a widespread thieving. Can it not scan the tenuous truce, really? Okay. Widespread thieving. Extended art, no, but honestly, who cares? Uh, we got a Cecily, whatever that is coming up. Tenuous truce, it doesn't want to do. Cecily Haunted Mage, this must be another secret lair. The list is a buck twenty-three. It was eleven. It was the the girl from Stranger Things. There she is. Um, I would have chosen different art for that one, and as such, I am happier to have the fantasy version of that. Yeah, that, I mean that just looks cooler to me, to be honest. So there we go. That's that's the one I'm keeping. But tenuous truce won't won't go in. So let's check it out. T e n U O U S truce not extended. It's a buck forty seven. Commander New Capenna. Oops, come on. Come on out here. Uh yep, there's the the I don't know, psychologist or whatever that was again. Crowbar. Upstart, Obscura Interceptor, and a Crew Captain. And this is just a foil. Just a foil. Not a gilded foil. Oh yeah, what's this guy? Lord Xander, of course. Crocodile, oop, I got a Planeswalker coming up. Spoiling it here. It's a blue Planeswalker. <laughs> I think you can all see it. There we go, that's a good pack. Urabras, Keratic Praetor. Got the Phyrexians. So they're just dripping the Phyrexians into the, like these last, what, four sets or whatever. What are we going to... Are we going to see the Phyrexians pretty soon, I would imagine. So why, why would the Phyrexians just send like one envoy into each location and just mess around or whatever? Anyway, Urabrask is 16 bucks. Get a sleeve for that one. The Fencer and then Tezzeret Artifice Master from the list. It's M19. That's that's fine. Nine bucks or so. Let's see. Oops, cha-ching. What is that all about? Five bucks for Tezzeret. Give him a sleeve too. There we go. Just a couple packs left. You guys can go back to sleep. Got a rocks. The killer service. Does he have like a does he have a sword or something? Oh yeah, there it is. He's killer service. He's a bodyguard. Undercover. You got structural assault. Is big nut, big money right there. All right, last pack. Oh my gosh, come on, pack. Let's go here. And yep, yeah, we got a limousine or something. Yeah, mysterious limousine. Cool full art mountain, or I'm sorry, forest. I know what color that is. Assassin, Vermin, there's Kroos, got a Mythic, and a Lord Xander, another hot pack right there. Kroos, not extended, doesn't matter. That's the only one that came up was the extended art, so there's something weird about that. And then Lord Xander, the Collector, and then Xander's Lounge, that was great right there. Showcase 858, and a Mayhem Patrol. The lines is 865. So yeah, hey, best pack of the of the box was that last one there. Great. That was it. What do you guys think about Streets of New Capanna? I like it, but um, I'm just a noob, so I'm just here for the uh, the flavor and uh, to see which ones are worth more than a buck. So comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.